Well, good day to you on a grey day here, which uh, promises rain, but promises way beyond that what should be a really good game of football. The stands are packed here, people have done everything they can to get here. The deeper roads outside were pretty badly clogged, but I think most of the traffic issues have been settled, and indeed I think most people have now got through the turnstiles and are well covered up against the elements, whatever they may throw at us over the next hour or two. And we have in front of us this gloriously... It goes to finish! A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. And it's Sidibe. And it's corner. Great reactions in front of goal. He just saw what was on. And look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was. Absolutely top notch. And the referee brings the first half to a close. So there you have it. A close sport half of football. The still had its moments. And ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Not the most convincing of displays, they could certainly do much better than this. They'll want to keep things simple, build up their confidence. And that is it, the referee has seen it up. It has ended in disappointment, defeats and back to the drawing board. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? That's a fairly demoralising loss. They hardly threat, and this was about as insipid as it comes. Our weather forecast is somewhat less than promising. We're told to expect intermittent spells of heavy... And it's a goal! There is the breakthrough! He does it all with an air of efficiency and simplicity. Well, he always had the measure of the keeper there. Such confidence and composure. Right. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. But still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. More than decent game up to now. Well, it hasn't exactly got the plan so far, but there's no need to panic. There's still plenty of time to get back into this. As always, an early goal would help swing things back in their favour. And the action has already resumed here. Monaco don't need to press the panic button just yet. They may have to tweak their, their setup first if they don't grab an early goal in this second half. They can't hold back, though. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Strasbourg have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's, it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Gelson Martins. Good ball, it's found its target. Kone with a fine tackle. It's there! Monaco on level! It's a keeper's nightmare, Peter, and he just couldn't pick up on it until it was way too late, having so many bodies in front of him. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Well, a game that had everything except a winner. Really watchable, and honours even. Your final thoughts, Jim? A run Good evening to you as you join us for tonight's live game. Unfortunately, our weather forecast is somewhat less than promising. We're told to expect intermittent spells of heavy rain, which might very well impact on the quality of the football later. It'll certainly add a new dimension, especially for those players who like to keep hold of the ball. A few anxious faces hoping it will all somehow stay away, but I have to tell you that, we are told, is an extremely unlikely scenario. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add... Oh, shooting chance! Goal, Monaco! 
A goal at a really telling moment. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but Rocket like still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Punch. made sure that that won't get through and time is up terrific contest it really might have tipped either way the margins were tiny With you, welcome along to a game which is threatened, I have to tell you, by a rather forbidding weather forecast. The expectation is for quite heavy rain. And the whistle has gone for a reckless challenge there. Well, the ref's been lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. And with that, the half-time whistle goes. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times. That's a book he'd always looked it. Gelson Martins. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. A frustrating game for attackers on either side. They hardly had a sniff. Of the two contenders here. Monaco, of course, a side that needs no introduction, experiencing great success both domestically and on the continent, and Nice who are very much a big club in their own right, both representatives of the glorious, picturesque French Riviera. Recent records may favour the men from the Principalities, but that history guarantees little. Here's a venue this... He's delivered all right! Listen, it's a great start, but we've seen teams surprise themselves with early goals before and sit back. They've got to avoid that. Contact was crisp and clean. That was just a rocket. That is just the top draw finish. He was always in control and couldn't have placed it any better. And yes, it's there! Two up now, and they are cruising. Really outwitted one on one. Once more, he gets the better of the keeper. Yeah, and he knew all along what he wanted to do, and it's a really great instinctive finish. Warned. Yeah, and he's just entered the last chance saloon. One wrong move now, and he's in trouble. Oh, it's a stunning goal! Sumptuous finish, an absolute joy! off the ball and that's it it has ended in disappointment defeat and back to the drawing board thoughts on what we've just seen and we know that derbies can often make predictions look silly they can take on a, a personality of their own